hi guys and you're welcome to another video now in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to read smartphone camera specs how to read smartphone camera specs let's get into the video right away <music> all right so once upon a time if you wanted to take a picture you made sure you dressed you put on your best clothes and then you followed your parents or your friends you went to a photo studio right and then they made you pose and then snap the cameraman or the photographer he took a photo but you're going to have to wait for at least two weeks before you'd see your picture so if during the process of you know the photographer trying to take the picture you blinked or you did something you're not going to see it until at least <laughs> two weeks later but it's that's not the case anymore um smartphones all have cameras now even the ones that aren't smart they have cameras too the jazz are just not as good as the ones on our smartphones so if you ask anybody today even a child and you ask them what's the function of a camera a camera is simply a device that takes pictures and videos as well every camera i use today has three parts three main parts the first one is the aperture that's how light gets into your camera like i've already explained on my previous videos for any camera to take pictures light has to enter the camera through the hole at the front called the aperture so as you can see i've already said it i have like two bright lights coming from both sides and then there's one on my head so the lights will come this way it will hit my face and my body and then to project straight into the camera so that's how photography works so for light to enter the camera there has to be an aperture and apertures are rated in what is known as f stop numbers so the second part of the camera are the lenses so the lenses collect light that bounce off now i'm the subject in the image or in this frame right now so the light will bounce off me into the camera through the aperture it will hit the lenses and from the lenses it will hit the third part and probably the most important part of the camera which are the image sensors so all of these parts of the cameras they have specs that represent them and a lot of us do not know how to read these specs so we're going to get into the specs right away kick off our reading uh, with the redmi note 7 i like that phone it's like the phone that actually introduced me to photography mobile photography and i still have mad love for that phone so uh, we're going to be looking at the specs right now it's a dual um camera phone that means it has two cameras but we're going to be reading the specs of the main one the other one is a dead sensor and i don't really care about it that much so there let's go um the redmi note 7 has an aperture size of f slash 1.8 now remember uh those of you who follow me on telegram or who read my blog or who follow on facebook you i have said it consistently that um aperture numbers in f-stops are inverse so obviously an aperture size of f 1.8 is actually way bigger than an aperture size of eh, 3.0 so 1.8 is bigger than 3.0 so the smaller the number the bigger the hole or the bigger the aperture aperture simply means hole that's what it means in normal standard english usage so when you hear aperture aperture simply means a hole so 3.0 could be this small and 2.9 is bigger than 3.0 2.5 is bigger than 3.0 and 2.8 2.0 is bigger than 2.5 and then 1.8 is bigger than all of them so the smaller the number the bigger the aperture size the bigger the hole so the redmi note 7 has an aperture size of f slash 1.8 which is really really big so after the aperture size uh, the next thing you want to see are the lenses it uses a standard wide lens which most main cameras use there's really nothing special there and uh, the next thing you want to look at now is the sensor the redmi note 7 has a samsung gm1 sensor so it's a uh, it's an average size sensor it's not necessarily all that big it's quite decent uh, it has um, a sensor size of 1 over 2 inches and there are 48 megapixels inside this sensor so which means on the sensor there are 48 
thousand individual pixels that capture light these pixels on the redmi note 7 are actually very very small so it's it means that when they take pictures enough light is not really going to enter into the camera so this is where a technique called pixel binning comes in since one pixel by itself is like really really small what um, the sensor maker did which is samsung what they did was that they combined four pixels together to give you the performance of one so in essence the 48 megapixel sensor on the redmi note 7 is not actually 48 when you take pictures with it, it gives you 12 megapixel photos. That's how pixel binning works. All right, so the second phone we're going to be looking at is the Google Pixel 6 slash Pixel 6 Pro. They both have the same um, main camera, which is actually a 50 megapixel camera. Now, until now, Google mostly used 12 megapixel camera for its sensors, but they've joined the, uh, you know, the megapixel race because lots of us actually you know like to hear big numbers so we're going to be looking at the cameras and what they have so the uh, google pixel 6 has an aperture of f 1.85 it's slightly smaller than what was on the redmi note 7 but it's too big big enough for very very decent photography um in addition to that um the main camera has a standard wide lens there's really nothing there the sensor itself is 50 megapixels the size of the sensor uh, is the next thing you want to look at now now the size of the sensor here is 1 over 1.31 this is a very very big sensor it's really really big dare i say it's huge for a smartphone 1 over 1.31 inches that's like really really big so because the size of this sensor is big it means that you cannot fit in bigger pixels so the pixels you have on the pixel size on the google pixel 6 and pixel 6 pro is 1.2 micrometers or 1.2 microns which is way bigger than the 0.8 that you have on the redmi note 7 so merely looking at the specs you can see that when you look at the sensor size and you look at the pixel size the google pixel 6 pro actually has way bigger sensor and way bigger pixels than the redmi note 7 what this means is that the google pixel 6 sensor which is going to capture a whole lot more light and give way better photos than the redmi note 7. all right uh, that was a lot to take in um lots of um new words and stuff but um to wrap up the anytime you see a camera you're going to see the following specs you're going to see the specs for the aperture it usually has an f in front of it so smaller number means bigger size bigger number means smaller size you're also going to see the type of lens used is the wide lens is it an ultra wide lens is it a macro lens those the name of the camera will usually tell you the lens that it came with then you're going to be looking at the sensor now usually most companies who are honest will tell you who made their sensor then in addition they are going to put the name uh sorry they are going to put the number of um pixels that's the resolution they'll give you that they'll give you the size of the sensor and the size of the pixels the size of the sensor is usually in inches one over something then the size of the pixels is usually with micrometers written at the front of it at the front or at the back i don't know it depends on how you see it so that's that um as usual i'm available for questions um you can leave them i'm also available on facebook and on telegram so if you have any questions you can also leave them there for me see ya